Hello and welcome back to Tips and Time Savers. I'm Danny Rocks. In today's lesson I'm going to respond to a viewer who wrote to say, Danny, I'm having trouble with the pivot table. I have a data set that includes the divisions and three fiscal years, fiscal year 2008, 9, and 10. I want to be able to compare the percentage of growth between 2008-2009, between 2009-2010, and I also want to show the absolute uh, increase or decrease in volume. I'm working with, as my viewer said, I'm working with a pivot table and I'm trying to create a calculated field. Well, immediately without even going any further, I realize that's not the way to go because the calculated field is going to work on the entire field not the values within, meaning the year 2008, 2009, 2010. So I said, I have a better solution for you, which is to show the values as. So we have our original pivot table, and let's select the pivot table, and let's make a copy of it. Did you know that you can work with multiple copies of a pivot table? It's much easier, more efficient, than actually going through and creating a second pivot table. Work with a copy. Now let's use Escape to take it off the clipboard. So now when I want to show the percentage of increase or decrease from 2008 to 2009, select a single cell over here in the values area and then right mouse click. Now there's several ways to get to the show values as one is on the value field settings, another is the summarize data by more options. Either one is going to bring you to this dialog box, the value field settings. Now, as many times as I teach people pivot tables, I'm amazed at how many people have never clicked on the Show Values as tab. And then when they click there, they say, well, all right, where do I go next? Well, notice that there's a drop down over here. So first, we want to show the percentage difference from. So over here in this dialog box, we want to show the percentage difference from the previous fiscal year the percentage of difference from the fiscal year as the base field and the base item will be previous. Now I want to check the formatting over here. So remember we selected percentage difference from so the category is automatically selected as percentage and I want to make it zero decimal places. Click OK click OK. <laughs> there you go. Without having to write a complicated formula. Show values as. Now remember that my viewer also wanted to see the absolute difference increase or decrease between fiscal years. Again, it doesn't matter which of the pivot tables that you select. We want to make a copy, Control C, and then come down here, Control V, to paste it. Use Escape to take it off the clipboard. Once again, we'll right mouse click. I find this to be the easiest way. And then just open up the Value Field Settings dialog box. Over here, remember that what we want to do is we want to first click on the Show Values as tab. And then the Show Values drop down. In this case, we want to show the difference from. When we're doing the difference from, what we need to do is we want to make sure that we're selecting the correct base field. So we want to show year over year, fiscal year to fiscal year. And we want to base it on the previous fiscal year. Now let's go in and double check the formatting. Accounting with zero decimal places, dollar symbol, that will work great. Click OK click OK and there you go. So now you can see here's my original data set. So in fiscal year 2009 sales of $61,179 the absolute dollar increase is $22,951 which represents a 60 percent increase. Again think about this we didn't have to write a single formula. The pivot table menus did it for us. Now, my viewer wanted to make sure that this could be dynamic. Now, remember, I haven't added in the quarter field. So let's come down here because I can't have a pivot table overlap another one. So I want to choose this one down here vertically as the last one. And I want to add the quarter 
into the division. So now we have the calculations get picked up automatically. And of course, remember with the pivot table, you cannot change a value in the pivot table. You're going to get an error message. If you want this to be dynamic, let's just say that we made a mistake over here. Go back to your original data set. So this is the ABC company in uh, fiscal year 2008. Let's make this 50,000. And let's make easy computer 100,000. But in order for the pivot table to update, we have to select the pivot table, pivot table tools, options, and then click the refresh button. So when we refresh, now the pivot table changes. And you see the show values as, as the percentage as difference and as the absolute difference upgrades automatically. Now, I'm very excited to announce that uh, shortly I'm going to have available for you to download three extended length video recordings. I've put together 90 minute recordings divided up by chapters. Master Excel in Minutes, Excel 2010 pivot tables, and I also have produced them for Excel 2003, as well as for Excel 2007. So stay tuned, I'll be announcing the details of how you can download this for a very reasonable price in the very near future. And just before I leave, if you are using Excel 2010, notice over here I'm in Excel 2010, the show values as has been really brought in to prominence. So select a cell in the pivot table, pivot table tools options, and notice over here in the calculations group, we can do the show values as it's a menu selection right there. So very, very valuable tip, very easy to use, and it's going to solve the problem for my viewer. And I'll look for you in the next lesson.